So today we're gonna to go ahead and clean out this whole middle section here. Um, we wanted to spread it on the field the day that we clean it, that way we just load it up, uh, handle it once, but it's rained this last week, they're calling for rain next week and we're not able to get in the field to spread it. Um, so we'll just take it out and make it in a pile uh, so that way we're able to get to it whenever the weather works in our favor. So the plan will be, I'm gonna come in with a uh, stock trailer. I'm gonna load up this group of feeder lambs. Uh, I didn't wanna really just move them over to the bank barn um, because they're gonna be going to the process in about 20 days. And so I didn't wanna move them just for that short a time. So we'll just leave them here, but I'll put them in the stock trailer to get them out of the way. Uh, we'll move the ram, move everything, clean it all up. And then the plan will be, we'll set up a new pin in the middle there between them. Um, that way the lambs can be weaned in that area. So that went extremely well. Um, it's pretty easy to get them on the tra trailer here. Once one hops up, the rest will go. So they'll just hang out in here for the next hour or two while I clean everything up and get a uh, new pin set up for them. So with the feeder lambs out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and move their pin stuff, their gates and their feeder here out of the way. Uh, the horn dorset pin, I'm gonna tear it down, all the gates there, and I'm gonna start cleaning from this end uh, where the feeder lambs were at towards the ram's pin. And when I get about halfway through that dorset pin, I'll stop and then take the ram outside and put the halter on him and uh, put a pin up outside for him to hang out in while I clean out his area. And then uh, we'll put fresh bar and line down and uh, put straw on top of it and bring everybody back in.
Right here is a good example why we like using ag lime underneath of our bedding. Um, the, we put in new straw throughout the week, every week, um, and the sheep drop feed, spill water, their manure, some loose hay, everything combines. It makes kind of like a big interweave carpet if, uh, of the straw. That's why it kind of rolls up with the bucket. Well, this shows a good example. This is the area of the feeder lambs here um, that we didn't have any ag lime to put down and we picked them up on a Sunday, so I wasn't able to get any. And then this is an example of the dorset pen that's gray is the ag lime. And that allows me to put the bucket down and scoop it and roll it up. It also allows for good drainage. Um, on this side, uh, this barn is, has uh, rock down for a floor in the barn. And so the tires will spin and stuff and it doesn't roll up as well. And so I'll have to do some more manual work with a uh, set of pitchforks down here, try to clean this area up. But that's why we use ag lime. So we got it all clean. And this is the feeder lamb area with the barn lime down, or the ag lime. This will be where we're gonna put up a pen in the next day or two for the uh, lambs to wean them. And then there'll be the ram pen there on the end. Uh, so we'll get straw drop for everybody and get them in their pen. Well, we got everybody back in their pen with some fresh bedding. Uh, this is one of the, my favorite jobs to do here on the farm just because it just is really nice to be able to give them a clean area to be in, uh, just get it all cleaned out, um, start fresh again. Um, this is also allows us a clean area to start the weaning process for that first group of five lambs. Um, that really keeps down uh, the mess for us and it makes it nicer in the lambs. So we'll probably start that project in the next day or two. So thanks for watching. <music>